morning, Vicky here with you, and I want to do something with the, this candlestick. I want to put a vase, um, a glass bowl on top, and uh, I thought I was going to use some Tattered Angels on it. I figured it wasn't going to ad adhere to the metal, this metal directly, so uh, I just sold it black, and we will see how it goes. Um, I'm using the beautiful set called Blue Rusty Metal. And I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out well. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so. Uh, so the first step is the light blue. So they say to coat everything with it. So we'll see, and then to let it dry. And I purchased these candlestick at a uh, thrift store for two bucks each. So trying this technique is not a big investment. If it doesn't turn out the way I want, it's no big deal. At least I'll have tried it. But I've got a good feeling about it. And if it turns out, I think it would make a really awesome gift idea. So we will see. Make sure I cover everything. So I'll let this dry and I will be back when it's dry and uh, we can do the next step. Okay, so I'm now in for the next step um, because it's all dry as you can see and uh, so the next step is to put some uh, uh, dry the when I when it's light blue chalkboard splash and so this is the one and it says to do this um, directly as a splash so I'm gonna do it as a, that. Add glimmer mist bronze miss brown spray the paint directly. So this is the bronze and I'm supposed to spray it directly as well. I'm not convinced. Okay, and then uh, let it dry. So I'll let it dry and I'll be back. Okay, so my item is is dry and uh, now I'm going to try to use the uh, steel glam and you can put as little as you want or as much as you want. So we'll try this out. And... Uh,
Well, so you can put as much as you want to darken it. Then you can reuse the mist. And you can let it air dry or you can try to dry it. with the heat tool and you don't want to get too close because if you get too close then it might bubble up or that might be what you're looking for depending on the look you're looking for it's giving kind of a funky uh, look kind of like the looks almost like marble type of effect not quite what I expected but I kind of like it so now the next step is to take one of the vase that I got and to glue it on and this I got for a buck and to glue it on there so that it can go like this and uh, so to do this I'm going to be using uh, my E6000 because that's my go-to when whenever I'm doing something of this type of nature and so I'll put a lot of it and then uh, I will let this is dry and I will come back to make give you a closer look oh my god I think I need to purchase another Thing of E6000. Make sure I put enough so that it really holds. So this is not a new idea. I mean, I've seen other YouTubers do this sort of thing. Uh, I've just never seen it done with um, Tattered Angels and usually they just use the candlestick as is. I don't remember seeing them alter them. So just do that and I'll let it sit and uh, dry and I will be back to share it with you when it's all finished. So I'm here for the finished product and here it is. I really love how it turned out and even my my husband mentioned how he thought it looked amazing. So I'm very very excited and uh, this is going to be a technique that I'm going to do again because I have another one and I have another one of those um, little jars. Uh, of course it's not exactly the same but I kind of think if I put a, a few of them together, it kind of makes a nice, uh, nice set. So that is all I wanted to uh, to finish the video. So hope uh, you like it. Go and check out the fabulous Tattered Angel products, and um, I will be putting down in the description box below the link to uh, those products. Bye, everyone.